The spotlight about a couple of army officers who fought for this country, then came home to face some of the same issues all of our veterans encounter. What do I do now? Major Joe Junguza and Captain Kevin Messmer decided to leverage their army training and experience to start a business, only to find the process would take them on a journey neither one expected. Lansdale, Pennsylvania. A small town like so many these days, aching for new businesses. Living the dream is a lot more work than I think anybody ever anticipated. Enter Joe Junguza. West Point graduate and decorated combat veteran. This is actually uh, a picture of me after an ambush. The Taliban had attacked a convoy and we took a picture basically after the battle had ended. Joe and his buddy, Captain Kevin Messmer, seen here on the left, came back from the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and decided to start a business. We didn't know what kind of business we wanted to start. We wanted to start a business that was based on the same values of like integrity and honesty that we experienced in the Army. Because in the Army and in the military in general, integrity and honesty, they're not the most important value. I mean, they're the only value. So today, on the all-American corner of Maine and Broad in Lansdale, you'll find Modern Tactical, a gun store. <laughs> to be honest, most of the reaction in person was great. Uh, you know, we're a veteran-owned business. Our landlord got a couple of angry emails. <laughs> But by and large, the people of Lansdale, he says, have been supportive. Sometimes there's a little shock when someone comes in and they say, uh, are these all real? And we're like, yeah, they're real. And they're like, wow, you guys opened a gun store on Main Street. Yes, we did. And no, it wasn't easy. Just as they began planning came the Aurora movie massacre and talk of banning the very goods they were hoping to sell. But you know what? We were committed. We had an idea. And, and we weren't going to accept defeat, so we, we pushed forward. In order to apply for a federal license to sell firearms, they had to show a signed lease. So they had to rent space even before knowing they'd get the license to sell anything. After months of planning and paperwork, they submitted their federal firearms license application. Battlefield strategy involves setting and achieving goals, and these veterans had just knocked off a big one. Two days later, a guy named Adam Lanza walked into a Connecticut elementary school and changed everything. And at that point, we had no idea what was going to happen. I mean, people were talking about passing all kinds of laws. Uh, we didn't know if the ATF would stop taking FFL applications. I mean, we literally had no idea what would happen to us at that point. But the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms has been supportive, he says and Modern Tactical opened for business. Being a veteran-owned establishment, it was only natural that in hiring, they turned to the pool of other veterans looking for work. It is an awesome responsibility selling firearms to people, and it's not something that you take lightly. When I hire a veteran, I know that they're taking that responsibility seriously. The one employee who might seem a little out of place here is Emily Speakman. Oh, not because she's a woman, but because in a business built by Army vets, She's a Marine. I like the fact that I was able to take my skills that I learned in the Marine Corps and actually be able to demonstrate it and actually show, like, hey, this is what I learned and I can actually show it and I can actually make a career out of it now with Modern Tactical. Unfortunately, the unemployment rate among veterans is, is higher than I think it should be given their skill sets. I can do my small part um, and it's not, it's not a sacrifice on my part, it's a benefit. Major Junguza told me they first chose another town in which to open, but found the environment very anti-business, no matter what they were trying to sell. He says Lansdale, from the mayor to the building inspector, made them feel very welcome. And while he is still running his store, he is also about to be promoted in the Army Reserve. He's going to make lieutenant colonel. Wow, that is really cool. What a great story. And it seems like a group that really takes the responsibility of the sales very seriously, and it's and nice to have those eyes and they on are his mind guns, too. hiring their veterans, their veteran brethren. I like that question from the community. Are those real? <laughs> Do those look like, are they real? I can understand asking that question, they, but, you know, there they, you go. They don't put their guns <laughs> in the window, but they have them, yeah. Well, it looks like a great shot and a great story, John, by Thanks. the way.